6,700 acres of Rancho Esquan, a privately owned patchwork of rice fields and marshland just south of Chico, the scenery is common to Northern California, but this is not. Larry Merlot, hunting ducks, duck eggs to be exact. Look, they're, all, yep. they're ready to yep. hatch. These they're are just about. That's why she didn't get up till we were right here. She's ready to hatch these. Well, good thing we found them. Yeah, because they the would've disc would have got them. The, the disc he's talking about is the farm tractor that will cut the grass on these levee roads. Grass that is perfect cover for nesting ducks. If you find two or three nests, well, you save those those three nests, which is generally about 30 birds. But one field may have as many as seven or eight hundred eggs. Ghost eggs, they're called, because the eggs would be destroyed if not for efforts like this one. If you don't have to go in there, it's best to leave them alone. But in today's world, we're all environmentalists in one way or another. So we're recovering the eggs ahead of equipment. Farmers help with the effort, planning their field work so the eggs can be gathered. I got it! Okay. You got it? It's a big one. We got 11 eggs in oh, here, eggs in and yeah, there's two pheasant eggs and there's nine mallard eggs. eggs. Rancho Esquan's egg salvage effort is just two years old, but by the end of this summer, more than 3,000 ghost eggs will have been saved, hatched, and released back into the wild. So finding the eggs is only the beginning. When one pips in that nest, that whole nest is going to hatch within 24 hours. Their nest is now an electric incubator, 100 degrees, with motion to match the way the mother duck would turn the eggs. Loretta has become their surrogate mother. It's been a ball just learning it all, and I love coming out here. It's, it's a seven day a week job. The hatch begins with signs of a pip. The duckling starts to tap its way out of the egg. And then they crack all the way around the top of their shell, and they push that top over, and they come out of their shell. This is the only age we're allowed to touch them. Once they come out of here, they, this guy's dry. Once he goes outside, we're not allowed to pick him up anymore. <gasps> they look healthy. They are. Some of these just came out this morning. At birth, the ducklings take in the yolk sac from the egg and have enough food and liquid for three days. Once they're outside, they have to eat on their own. This is the most fragile time for the ducklings, but Rancho Esquan has an 80% survival rate. But there's no, there's no human contact except the cleaning and the feeding. These guys are just swimming in their pond, they're waiting to get their feathers. And when they get feathered at about two to three weeks old, they move over to the big boy side. They actually don't get, <laughs> I call it the big boy side, they graduate. Mallard ducks are the focus of the effort here, but occasionally wood duck eggs are found and hatched, they need their own habitat, and turkey and pheasant eggs are hatched too. Hunters are part of the effort, they're often the most motivated conservationists because they watch the duck population so carefully. You know, we have to put back. I started hunting when I was nine years old and uh, I feel that the last few years is, uh, it's been a real real privilege to be able to uh, be part of this ranch and uh, do what I'm doing. The mallards will stay in their pens until they're five weeks old. This area they come over here when they grow their feathers and they don't get any light for heat anymore. This is home until the ducks are banded and then it's time to go back to the marsh where life began. It's the ideal transition place, water, food and plenty of hiding places for the returning ducks. They'll swim and watch the other ducks for about a week, mimic their behavior, and then finally fly off on their own. These ducks are five weeks old, so they're ready for release. Um, we're gonna bring them out and set the open door towards the habitat, open the door and let them swim. And hopefully they'll be taking cover in these trees and the islands. Some of the ducks will leave, some will stay. The marsh is hunted, but there was a surprise last year. On this habitat, it's a private club, so we know how many bands they got. And they, were, they only harvested one duck out of the 850 that were released. And they're off. Good to see them stand up on the water and try and fly. It's just pure excitement, you know, it makes you feel real good about this whole program. Egg salvage and the eventual release isn't the ideal solution. No, it's not. It's not. It's second best. To actually creating safe habitat. Yes. Okay. It's the only way we can do things nowadays because of agriculture. Everybody thought, oh, aren't you sad when they go? I go, no, it uh -uh. just makes me feel good. Like seeing your babies grow up. <laughs>